Uh, hello guys, uh, welcome to Nemtech channel. My name is Nehemiah and uh, this is lesson 13 on NumPy Random. We are going to discuss Rayleigh really distribution. But then uh, before we begin guys, uh, please subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed. And uh, to the returning subscribers, uh, thank you very much for your continued support. Now, uh, Rayleigh really distribution is used in signal processing. And uh, guys, it has uh, two parameters. Uh, the first one is scale. Uh, which stands for standard deviation. It decides how flat the distribution will be, uh, which defaults at uh, 1.0. Then uh, the other parameter is size, which is the shape of the returned array. Uh, and so, guys, uh, let me show you an example how to draw out a sample of array distribution with a scale of 2, and then uh, the size is going to be a uh, two dimensional array with the three elements in each array list. And then uh, the first thing guys, uh, you remember before anything is to import random, but we import it from numpy. So from numpy, uh, import. We import in what um, this random, random. And then uh, now here I'm gonna create an object with variable x. And then uh, let me assign it to this method the random. This random. A dot really a really I think this is spelling um a really and then uh, I'm gonna add two parameters here the first one is scale I said scale is the same as standard deviation and then I'm it's gonna be two I'm gonna use two and then another uh, parameter is size or the shape of the returned array I'm gonna give it a two dimensional array a uh, two dimensional array with the three elements in each, uh, in each array list. Then let me uh, print out with the print function. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give it, let me pass that uh, x. Then uh, let me run. And then again, uh, basically, this is how we can draw a sample of array distribution. And uh, in this case, we use a scale of 2. And then uh, the size or the shape of the return arrays was. A uh, two dimensional array with the three elements in each array list, as you can see here. Now, uh, let me show you how to visualize this uh, array distribution. So, what I'm gonna do, let me first of all copy this uh, code. Then, also, let me import matplotlib. So, I'm gonna say um, import, import, uh, import. Um, Matplotlib. Matplotlib. Dot pyplot. Dot pyplot. And then uh, as an alias PLT. I think this is spelling for matplotlib. Dot pyplot. I guess. And then uh, the other um, library is gonna be Sibon. Uh, so let me see. import Sibon. Uh, uh, should be Sibon. Also as an alias. Um, S and S. Now, um, let's now begin the codes. I'm gonna write here a line of code S and S dot list plot list plot, and then uh, this method here random uh, random dot array 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 then uh, size. Let me give it. Uh, 1000, 1000, 1000, and then also let me remove the is total. So, is I'm gonna use a false value here and say false, mm, a false. And then, to visualize, we're going to use plt, plt dot show, uh, plt dot show. And then now uh, what I do is uh, let me run these codes. And then again, uh, uh, basically this is how we can uh, visualize this array distribution. Uh, and so guys, uh, basically the similarity between array and a chi square distribution is that um, at units, uh, standard deviation and uh, two degrees of freedom, array and a chi square distribution represent the same uh, distribution, uh, basically the same distributions. That's the only similarity between this array and the chi square distribution. And um, I think by now, guys, you understand Rayleigh distribution very well. 
and um, until next time please subscribe uh, this is Nehemiah thank you